What's up, everybody? I am Ghostboy Colby. We're back here in Final Fantasy. Specifically, we're in Elfheim. And I be if I remember correctly, uh, our next sort of objective is to go... Um, go back to all the places where we couldn't get into before that needed the Mystic Key. Um, so that would include Cornelia, uh, I believe Castle Cornelia in particular, and then we're also going to be go revisiting uh, the Chaos Shrine. Um, I think we'll even go back to the Western Keep. In fact, I think that's where I'm going to go back first. Because um, if I, you know, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do, um, I think there were some uh, locked rooms in the West Western Keep. That needed the, the mystic key in particular, not just any key. And I've got to heal, curiously enough, but oh well. I know where I'm headed. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I'm not sure what else we'll be doing in this episode. Because uh, that's, that's really all I remember. I think possibly we might make it to visit the dwarves I, th I think I might be wrong but I think you know we we might only have enough time to explore all the places that had the mystic key doors but we'll see and god damn they need to leave Duncan alone always Duncan always I don't even care if I overhealed. Hopefully, I don't think we should be facing any monsters. Get! I don't think we should be facing any monsters here in the Western Keep. Uh, I know that room for sure is locked. And we just, if you saw it, you know, you probably did, but. Just in case you didn't, there were a couple chests in there. Like, whenever we enter one of these rooms, for example, the one we just went into where we fought Astos before, you can see what's in the other rooms without actually entering them. Looks like there are some wraiths here guarding the chests. Um, this calls for Fyra and Diara. Or Diara? I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, this is going to be one of those paralysis battles. Fantastic. Alright, Diara took care of them well enough. We got a Falcon. Now, I, that's a type of sword, but I don't remember who can equip it. I think... Yeah, let's give it to Kellen. And then... Lazarin and Duncan and Anne all have their own... Uh optimal stuff already equipped so now we got power staff and steel gloves uh let's see okay we can give the power staff to Anne. um all right i think that's all there is to get here in the western keep unless i am missing something but i don't I think I am. No, if I if I was, I think it'd be over here on this side. But yeah, that's that's it. Okay, so we got the Western Keep take taken care of, and then uh, I'm gonna use magic to heal us here instead of. Well, let's use Cura. Yeah, I don't think that's overkill. Wait. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I was using. Oh no. I mixed up Cura and Heal, so yeah, that, that was overkill. But, uh, you know what? Whatever. We're good. So now, uh, where are we going next? It'll be... Um, I think Cornelia? Uh, there's nothing in Elfheim for us to get. Oh, we need to go back into the Marsh Cave as well. Ugh, that's gonna be, uh, 
pain in the ass, but you know what? I think we need to get it done. I don't know why I keep accidentally hitting the uh, space bar more than I need to. You only need to press it once to fast forward, but I keep hitting it like 15 times. Uh, yeah, right now we're just trying to make our way through without dying, of course. Back to the marsh cave. Other than that, I don't, I don't really know what to talk about or anything. Um, I guess I, I have mentioned in the past couple videos that lately I've been kind of listening to Deftones. Um. And, you know, Deftones were hard for me to get into, but I've, I've kind of recently discovered that I think I might just love their debut album, Adrenaline. Uh, before I could really only get into a couple songs from it, but now I, you know, the whole thing I just think is really enjoyable. Uh, it's got a very, very raw sound. But if that, you know, if you don't really have anything against that, then, I mean, it depends on your taste in metal, but, you know, it's it's not, I guess it's kind of new metal, but, like on certain songs especially, but I wouldn't say the whole thing is necessarily new metal, it's more of just like alt metal. Uh, but, you know, even putting a label on it can make it, um, that doesn't necessarily quite do it justice. Because it's a, it's an album that stands its own, or st stands on its own outside of the labels and manages to have its own sound. Um, it's, it's just really, it's good. I don't really know how else to put it other than that. Um, if you, you know, it sets up a lot of the trademark sort of elements that would carry over into the rest of Deftones music. And uh, that includes uh, Chino Moreno's sort of like whispered singing and like, uh, they're sort of outside the box, somewhat simple but very effective riffs. Um, and something interesting about that album that not many, you know, not a whole lot of people seem to know is that it was written in E standard tuning. And it surprises a lot of people because some of the riffs are decently heavy. And so they, basically the question they ask is how did they manage to make standard heavy? Because that's like a common question in the metal community is can standard tuning even be heavy? That album proves that yes it can. And people's- Quit! Quit! Lay down! Lay your ass down! Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Had to get my cat. He was playing with a fish stick. He likes to bat him around the floor and eat him. But he ended up batting it to where my uh, basket of clean clothes is. And he started fucking around with that. Well, he, he was trying to get to the fish stick, but it was under this shirt. And so he kept getting the shirt. And he's not supposed to play with my clothes. Because he'll tear him up. Oh, fan fight. God damn, why could we not just run away? Why was that so hard? But, um... Uh, but yeah, back to that album that I was talking about. Uh, they, they somehow managed to make E standard tuning heavy. People's first assumption when they hear it is that it's not standard, but some kind of drop tuning, specifically drop E, but it's not. 
It's standard. Uh, I think one of the members was even quoted as to saying they had no idea how someone would even manage to do it in a drop tuning because of the way it would change the spacing that you would have to, like, the spacing of your fingers from each fret. So yeah, it's not, it's not in drop, it's definitely in standard. Uh, we're gonna have to face these motherfuckers. Hopefully they don't one-shot any of us this time. Alright, let's see what Thundera does. That's a lot of damage. That's not as much damage, but still quite a bit. If you wanted to, I guess you could just grind battling these guys, but I wouldn't recommend it. Because I'm pretty sure they're actually about to knock one of my guys out if we don't get to him first. Oh, he damn near got Duncan. Yeah, I am not a fan of the Piscademons. I'm not even entirely sure I'm pronouncing that right, but I don't like them, so I'm not even really concerned about whether or not I'm pronouncing their name right. Um... Okay, that's good. There we go. I was under the impression we were gonna face the Piscademons, like, right in front of the chest. That's normally how it goes, but for some reason, they were not quite there. They were more towards the middle of the room. Oh my, a bunch of anacondas. See, I, I don't know which... They have it based, like, on real-life snakes, which ones are poisonous and which ones aren't. I don't remember which is which. I don't think these are the poisonous ones, though. Um, or one of the poisonous ones. There's a lot of different variations of basically every kind of enemy, so... Yeah, you know, obviously, including the snakes. Still going through and trying to get all the stuff that we missed. Or, not necessarily missed, but couldn't access before. Because of the, uh, mystic key. Uh-oh. I don't want to be here. <laughs> that looked like a trap. There wasn't even any, uh... Like, uh... Chest in there or anything. Use the ones that are resistant to physical attacks. So we need to t attack them with magic. Thank God for that preemptive strike. Ooh, okay, interesting. Uh, the Grey Ooze is weak to physical attacks. So I'll have Duncan attack him, and then Kellen will attack the Tarantula. And then... I think it wouldn't hurt to use Fire on all of the above. And in the meantime, Anne is gonna heal Duncan. Oh well, she's gonna try to heal Duncan. We defeated the enemies before she could. Oh no, four Piscademons. I don't think I'm ready. Mentally. Alright, um... Let's see if Fyra does anything to them. I don't really think it will. Let's just have her heal everybody. Ju Son of a cock sucking slime! Oh god damn! I hate these fucking Piscademons. I'm not convinced we're gonna survive this. I hate that fucking gang up. It's part of their AI. I hate it so much. Okay, um... I don't think I have any Phoenix Downs. I don't. Of fucking course I don't. Uh, this is so stupid. I hate these fuckers. I specifically hate that... Uh, I, I, 
well, Remo mostly just hate the very concept that they can put enemies in here that are stronger than we can even fucking handle at this stage. I just hate that. That's inexcusable. I just healed, and my fucking red mage is literally almost dead. I hate this shit. I really do. I really, really do. <sighs> there's no reason, like, there's no reason for this shit. Duncan's just gonna keep getting further and further behind because he can't stay alive because of these goddamn motherfucking Pisca demons. I hate him. I hate it. I hate so much. Um. Excuse the profanity, but I'm just so sick of this. Every fucking time I try to keep Duncan alive, they, they fucking kill him. It's because of the way that stupid AI- yeah! I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm trying to calm down. What happened was- I probably shouldn't have yelled, but what happened was that my cat jumped up and for some reason decided to swat at my arm. And uh, he's not supposed to do that. So yeah. I guess let's have... No, let's not waste a goddamn ether. Let- fuck it, let's just run. Because you're supposed to attack those guys with magic and Magic is not available to us right now because Lazarin is too low on MP. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm already pissed off. Why not just throw in a paralysis battle? Just for the fuck of it. <laughs> Sorry if I overloaded the mic or anything like that. I don't I don't know. I probably did. I don't mean to get this damn upset, but it's so ah. This is what the third time at least. Well, maybe maybe not third, but it's too fucking many times. That much I do know. I was feeling just fucking fine, and then, you know, like, I'm talking about Deftones' debut album, and I'm just going around trying to get loot that I couldn't get the first time, thinking, okay, we already fucking went through here, we should be able to handle anything we come across. Nope! Group of four fucking Pisca Demons takes out Duncan. And apparently just 20 po potions was not enough. Twenty potions. That costs quite, you know, quite an amount of gold. I mean, not the most, but you know. How much you want to bet Lazarin gets knocked out before we can even make it back to Elfheim? I'd run away from these, but it's clear after facing those goddamn pierce. Well, uh, I guess I don't even know if I'm gonna finish that sentence because what I was gonna say is that it's clear that we need the experience, but it's Duncan who keeps fucking fainting. And he's already behind, so it's like. I don't. Know. Hold on. Okay, we're fine. I was looking at my. TV. I'm sorry. I'm. My head is just in a bad. Bad. I'm just in a bad mood now. I don't. I don't want to be, but I am. 
That, that probably is a sign that I should, should just, like, take a break or something, but... <sighs> I don't want to do the editing. I really don't. What I'm... I'm tempted to just, like, call it here. Make it a s extra short video, basically like a rage quit. Like I don't know. My cat, my my l little kitty's fine, by the way. I didn't like. I didn't beat him or anything. I just I was already kind of ticked off at the game, and then I see him playing with one of my shirts when he's not supposed to tear up my clothes, and I just. I just moved him away from the laundry basket. I didn't I didn't hit my kitty. He's fine. He's just sleeping over there. You know, I I don't want to move my whole laptop, but I also don't want to disturb him and pick him up to try and prove to you that he's okay. I, I'm not an animal abuser. It's just I'm not happy right now. Didn't hit him. I just Probably shouldn't have even yelled, but I don't, I don't know. Huh. This is probably my worst episode so far. What do y'all? What do you guys think? <laughs> Whatever. I. I don't know. Part of it could also be. I, maybe I'm just coming up with excuses at this point. But part of it could also be that I had a headache earlier today. Uh, I took a couple of a leave. The headache is mostly gone now. I can still vaguely feel it, but not to the point that it was. But that, you know, and I'm not trying to, like, excuse myself. I'm just rationalizing. I don't know. Maybe the end of it is the, or, you know, maybe the long and Excuse me, maybe the long and short of it is just that I'm kind of an asshole. I don't know. I like to think I'm not, but... I guess that's for... I guess that's not really for me to judge now, is it? But I think what I'm gonna do... Oh, I think what I'm gonna do is call the episode here. Ponder whether or not I'm gonna try and re-record it. And then, yeah, I think that's, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to re-record it. I'm kind of stressing out about it now. I guess that's probably the best thing to do, but I don't, I don't like to do that because it feels it, it, cheating is a weird w way to describe it, but it kind of feels like cheating, you know? I mean, I, I've already played this game and I already know where I'm going in the first place, but the fact that Duncan was KO'd, I think, should stay in. And I feel like if I re-record it, just because I got pissy that Duncan died, you know, that doesn't, that feels cheap. So, I just, I feel like if I leave it in, it makes it more unique to this playthrough. And I guess you guys seeing me get irritated is nothing new by now. I wish I could keep calm during this stuff, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I reach a reach a limit but I don't know I the reason I don't want to keep it and upload it is because you guys don't deserve to watch somebody or you know you guys let me rephrase that you guys deserve better than to watch somebody get so pissed off that they just can't even continue with the game and not make it such a big deal but, uh, I, for better or for worse, I think I've made my decision. I'm gonna keep this video 
and upload it. Um, you guys know by now that I just am not big on editing, and I'm not big on re-recording. So that's just, that's the way I do my channel. If people don't like it, so be it. Uh, yeah. So with that said, I think I'm just leaving it here. Huh. And, uh, may maybe I'll make some kind of joke about it in the title of the video, I don't know. Help me process and get over it. What it really, it's not that big a deal, but it, it did upset me, so... It's... whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't really know what else, what else to say besides that. So, until the next video, until the next episode. Peace.